G'day guys. I wanted to give you guys a quick update on all the cars that I currently own at the moment, but all the issues that I still have between the two cars as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to quickly run through a few things and then we're going to get this thing cleaned up because I'm going to put it uh, away for a little bit and not drive it. And uh, I'll give you the reasons why. So at the moment, the NA is actually completely done. It's got the 17 inch wheels that I want to sell it with. It's got brand new tires on it. Uh, it's got the airbags, uh, all the faults all fixed as well. We managed to switch over the airbags and the seats. We did that last weekend with Gene. The paint's been done. Everything on that car is ready to go. Everything, all I need now is just a new owner for it. That's all I need to do with that car right there. This thing here, on the other hand, is a completely different story. At this current point in time, this car is honestly a work in progress. I think, to be honest, I've completely upset the car with everything I've done to it in such short notice. You guys sort of know when you're building a car, if you do everything too quickly, it doesn't really have time to bed in and uh, you just keep doing stuff to it. It just keeps messing up. At the moment, I have a squeak in the very front. It sounds like a metal on metal squeak. Uh, in the back, at the moment, you might notice that this tire is a little bit deflated. Now, I did double check, guys. That is not a cracked rotor. Trust me, I already checked. I'm not quite sure, but uh, my XYZ coilovers in the back are currently having a few little faults. I'm not quite sure exactly what it is, but however, it's knocking really badly. And it's also got a squeak on the, uh, I don't know, the, the camber arm on the back of this wheel right at the moment. Uh, the inner one, uh, it's currently got a squeak in it, apparently, I'm not quite sure exactly. Uh, I've tried to fix as much as I can, me and Gene both have, and I really admire all the time that Gene's put in with this car. I feel like the whole car at the moment has really just been chucked together, you know, like the, the coilovers, they're just not performing great. Everything's squeaking and I'm still just trying to throw more stuff at the car and every single time I throw I try and throw more stuff at it. It just, you know, there's some issue with it that i got to fix. And so, yeah, I mean, it's not a big list of issues. It's just, I wish there was someone that could tell me exactly what I need to replace to fix the issues. And the fact that we just can't find the issues is annoying. It's just got a few squeaks here and there. I don't want to drive it because it's extremely loud to drive. The squeaks, that is, um, the car itself isn't loud. But um, yeah, I, I, I love this car with, with all of my heart. And it, it breaks my heart to know that I can't drive it at the moment. Simply because it's just annoying. It's, it's making too many noises. It's, yeah, it's almost at 180,000 Ks. It's, I mean, it's looking good, but yeah. You know, just all the really little petty things that you guys all know me for. So uh, yeah, we're gonna give this thing a wash and uh, I'd say we're gonna leave it inside for a few weeks. Um, just while I gather some money and try and uh, see how we can fix this better and uh, Yeah, hopefully then we'll have a functioning car before all my family comes So I've literally just cleaned up the car right now and uh, it's looking pretty snazzy. There's still absolutely no swells in the paint. Uh, the car is absolutely fabulous. Uh, yeah, it's looking really good, especially back down here. Just in this light right here. Oh my God. So pretty much I'm just going over the car at the moment, uh, crossing my T's, dotting my I's, making sure that every single little thing is good. Um, I even like got around to cleaning the exhaust tips as well. I have to go around the wheels one more time because they were pretty dirty. I don't think it actually cleaned them since the track day when I lost all braking. Um, but yeah, this thing's looking pretty good. Hilltop Hoods pumping at the moment. If you don't listen to Hilltop Hoods, then you should unsubscribe. But um, I also added some uh, new additions to my toolbox right now. So now I've got K&N Sid Chrome, which is like all my sort of Sid Chrome sets that I have in here. 
amp performance. The amazing intercooler piping as well. Mighty car mods because those guys are legends. Uh, and then we got Zach Bowley. If you're not subscribed to him, I would highly suggest it. And then we got the almighty Adam LZ. Uh, we are missing a sandwich sticker. Um, we're going to chuck that on. We're going to chuck the massive unemployed sticker right there. And then we got a uh, little bongo cat. So when you close it, it's a little bongo cat. It's pretty cool. But yeah, this whole setup's coming up really nice now. Like we got heaps more detailing stuff now, which is wicked. I'm just absolutely loving collecting all this stuff right now, um, even if I don't use half of it. And then all this stuff here is all FG parts that I've just sort of accumulated. I don't know why. I have this thing where I just, if someone's selling parts and they have tail lights, I just kind of pick them up. So I've got like these two sets right here. So if anyone wants to buy some, please let me know. I actually don't know why I bought them, but um, yeah. Got the bike sitting down here. Just got heaps of stuff I still have to clean up, but this whole setup down here is looking real good. I just want to move all these sort of parts out of the way. So if anyone wants to come, uh, message me on Instagram. I'll sell some of these parts. I got like um, tail lights. I got heaps of intercooler piping down there, um, as well as uh, like a sort of that blacky sort of thing that's sitting down there. I got to put these on my car tonight. And uh... so I went upstairs and I was editing and I was like, what the hell? I was going to show you guys an awesome video and then literally all I did was wash my car. Today, I'm just going to continue on from the next video and we are going to do the throttle body in the Falcon. Um, it should be a fairly simple task. All I have to do is literally just get into the throttle body right there. I'm going to take it off and then I have some uh, throttle body cleaner up here. I just got from Super Cheap Auto. I got my trusty toothbrush and uh, yeah, we're just going to clean up the throttle body because if you guys remember, um, I was telling you guys about this car here having an ETC fault. ETC is electronic throttle control, so we're going to quickly uh, take the throttle body off and give it a clean. I knew it was actually on its way out because um, it would randomly stall sometimes as well. And you know, it's pulling up to lights, it would like go up high and res and then down low and then uh, 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 and then just stall. Um, which for an automatic car isn't great, but we're gonna nail it today. Let's do it. Itself actually looks pretty good especially from this side here which is where all the air goes in um, the only thing I did notice is there's a little bit of residual oil around the outside but it shouldn't be an issue this side here is what I'm a little bit worried about it is it's not too bad I mean I expected it to be a lot worse but um yeah obviously I'll try and clean as much of that up as possible so um I got my uh, my good old trusty brake cleaner on top of my ant performance uh, on top of my uh, ant performance cardboard right here and uh, get to work. Yeah, we all get down and go through times. But how we react during is what defines the lines. Career to find it, my paper sign it. They hear me coming from a distance like God's sirens. My name is climbing, I'm on the rhyming. They know I'm going to be a star, so get in line. Get in line. You looking in my eyes, can you really see the struggle? I'm missing peace here, better go and find a puzzle. You looking in my eyes. Can you really see the struggle? The missing piece here Better go and find a puzzle They don't even know my name But they let those in Who look and sound the same They don't even see that I'm the change This is supposed to be completely and utterly clean Look at that I can almost It's almost like paint So this is looking a whole lot better This is just after like 5 minutes of trying to clean it up I'm still going to clean up a little bit Because it's still got like some residual oil around the whole thing but um, my more my voice breaks. It's looking so much nicer and just even feeling it right now, like it actually opens up and closes nicely now. So, chuck this back on the car and uh, plug in all my sensors and uh, see how we go. Cause you put it towards your dreams And every day's a challenge and you doubtin' if you'll be But deep down you'll know that one day you'll succeed Achieve everything you ever wanted Oh memories haunted, I'm telling them I got it I'm running like it's the gallon I know I got things on my mind They don't CEO, big shoes to fill For your average motherfucking job Well, I will never quit Even when I'm rich I know that you're my dick And I know that I'm shit
So I have just completed doing the throttle body and I closed the bonnet. I uh, did turn the car on just before and it sounds amazing. Anyway, I'll quickly show you guys exactly how it sounds. Of course with this car here, it's pretty much like the car that I've done most of the work on myself. So I get to see the differences between when you actually like, when you actually really do something to a car, like as in, uh, you know, when I did the fuel filter, I noticed a massive increase in range. And when I did this, I noticed a massive increase in just how well it actually brings it back to an idle. Like I'll quickly show you guys now. Before it would, um, it would sort of go up and then as it would come back down, it would drop down to about, I don't know, 250 revs and then bring it back up and kind of like play around between a thousand and zero to the point where sometimes it would just die. It would kind of like, yeah, it, it just wouldn't be great. But now if you have a look, you can see it just comes straight back down. Like how amazing is that? I love hearing that noise, the turbo spooling down. As I was saying before guys, this is like a really cool opportunity for me to kind of like, you know, really reflect on working on my own car. This has been the first car that I've actually managed to work myself on and actually like see the benefits of what it is to actually maintain this car. And I actually feel really good now that, you know, I've really started taking ownership of this car and really started taking ownership of how it runs and drives. Like it's. It's been a big task for me to try and do everything I do mechanically considering, you know, I try and have all the tools in here and sometimes I just don't have all the tools, I have to go out and buy them and, you know, sometimes it is a little bit of a, a long and lengthy task and sometimes I don't have the right tools for it, but, you know, it's really good because I buy the right tools for it, I can do it again in the future, I'm learning more about my car every single day. So like even stuff like, I've never taken a throttle body off before and now I know how to do it, so I'm really happy. But yeah, anyway, hope you guys really enjoyed the video and I will cut back to the previous day's outro. If you did sit through the whole thing, remember to like, I don't know, in the comments, leave like a little smiley face. That way I know you guys made it to the end of the video. Anyway, hope you guys really enjoyed the video and I will see you all later. Peace out.